All right, number nine, more fun from the frozen canals of Amsterdam. Oh, good. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> see there, you can see showing off shirtless. Yeah. And, yeah. Ow. And how do you stay afloat with those skates on? Yeah. It it's only four off. feet, so yeah. you don't have is to float. Is that it? It's, it's yeah. that shallow? Boy, you really know your this canals, is all, Larry. Look, oh, Larry's a canal expert. Oh, yeah. Name a canal. Yeah. Larry will tell you anything you want to know about. Sure. Let's go, Larry. <laughs> That's a fun way to get out right there. Panama. Come on, Larry. Yeah. Come on, Larry. No, we did. Erie. Come on, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> we did another blooper uh, a couple days ago. Mm. So. Yeah. Love yeah. a good canal. But all those right. canals are fun in the winter, boy. Yeah. Let me tell you. Oh, boy. All right, number eight, if you're ready to get your side hustle on and something. finally become the influencer you were born to yes. be, well, you're going to want the right equipment. Okay, all you need is your smartphone in this. It's the Rode at Home Vlogger Kit. You can shoot and edit your own footage, become the next TikTok star. It includes a mini tripod that allows you to record yourself at multiple angles, a rechargeable LED light with eight colored filters, because as we all know, it's, it's all about the lighting. And some microphones to enhance your audio. All of this is only $149. Wow. Which really is, is peanuts when you think about mm -hmm. yeah. the benefits that await for you when you become a social media superstar. It's really that easy. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. All right, uh, time for number seven. I know this is a safe space. Uh, and I've got something that needs to be said uh, that I've been sitting on for a long time, but uh, I have a big problem with cantaloupes. Uh, so I hope you, the Cantaloupe Society is watching <laughs> or the Board of Cantaloupes is listening because I'm sick and tired of what's going on here. When I get a cantaloupe at the store and then wait a few days and cut it open, I expect the cantaloupe to taste good and I understand that the concept of fruit ripening and all that other stuff has to play out, but let's be honest, uh, cantaloupe this time of the year are never good. I can wait a day, I can smell it, I can shake it, thump it, take it for a walk, sign it, take it to my Zumba class, and it still tastes like crap. So my demand for the big cantaloupe is, if your product never really tastes good in February, don't sell it. Oh. I don't want to hear about the Johnny Lero BS about putting it in a brown bag or <laughs> whatever it's supposed to do. The thing stinks. I'm not the middleman. I'm not a farmer. When I buy a cantaloupe, I expect it to be reasonably juicy and flavorful. So get it done or get it out of the produce aisle. Good night. That's well, maybe enough. you should just read up on when fruit is in season and just right, not then buy don't them. sell it. If it doesn't taste good... You're saying it's not your job to do the research. No. They shouldn't be peddling... Yeah, if it tastes bad, don't put it out. ...subpar cantaloupes. Gotcha. Everyone needs a cause. This one. Yeah. You know? There's a yeah. group of us rallying today at the <laughs> Union Park at 2 o'clock. We're okay. fired up, and we're not going to take it anymore. Yeah. All right. I made it through that whole story without giggling once when I know. you said cantaloupes. You. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you. Idiot. <laughs> all right, number six, forget about open concept living rooms and kitchens. It's all about the OCBR, the open concept bathroom. Oh, yeah, nice. With so many people spending the past year at home, they're looking for a more spa-like feel in their own house. So they're creating mm. wet room style rooms with sleek design, freestanding tubs, curbless walk-in showers, and of course, it's not for everyone, especially Chicagoans with traditional bungalows or ranch style homes. It's a little tough when space is limited. Yeah. But if you have the room, and the cash. It's mm. one of the biggest design trends of 2021. That's according to house.com with two Z's. House. Right. Mm. Does it matter whether your bathtub is free floating or built into the no, wall? It doesn't matter to me. Yeah, as long as it holds mm. the water. It's yeah. all that matters to me. Once you're in, you're in. <laughs> all right. Number five police in Pakistan have a new way to get around. They have officers with guns on rollerblades. <laughs> the department has a unit of officers on skates in Pakistan's largest city of Karachi. 20 officers are being trained so they can chase criminals and even use their guns while on skates. 
The officers will focus on catching thieves in public places, uh, but they'll uh, stay away from areas where the roads are bad. I got it. What is the source of this video? That guy was doing a triple axle. I know. Yeah, I mean, I'm, oh. I'm curious. We've run this twice, and I wonder, because all the guy has to do is run in some grass, and he's, he's he beat you. Yeah. But, you're but again, the guy gun. did a pirouette. Yeah. I don't know if that's the right term for it, but he spun yeah. around. Yeah. That makes sense to me. I Dumbly. love it. I say, wouldn't that, that would be great in Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're going with the roller skates, how about some more colorful outfits than yeah. what they were wearing? Yeah. yeah. Some spandex black. pants. We yeah, all love come spandex on. pants. Accessorize and can use some cute scarves. Yeah. All kinds of things there. All right. Uh, we're going to skip uh, number four just for today only uh, and move right on to number three. Uh, more easy food hacks from SoYummy.com. And these look like they're really uh, doable. Uh, check them out. I them. told you that'd be worth it. It was fun, wasn't it? Only to be topped by the moon over my hammy. Yeah. <laughs> which is also delicious. Yes. All right, number two, Women's Secret Confessions. A 1-900 hotline commercial back when people had landlines and lots of time on their hands. Hotlines like this were popular in the 80s. Check it out. I didn't mean to do it. Wow. I'm so sorry. Women's Secret Confessions. All oh. real, all true. <laughs> I, I was out of control. Listen to women burying their souls. Please forgive me. Women's secret confessions, what their best friends don't even know. Call 1 900 909 1133. $2 per small, 45 cents additional. <laughs> women only. Boy, were those admissible in court, or is that just. Wow. <laughs> some kind of privilege. We need to have a confession line here. Yeah. Well, that's not a bad idea. Use a text line for a week. We won't tell anybody. You ever get suckered into calling one of those when you were? I called one of those once. There was the DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince hotline. <laughs> yeah. And I didn't know. I just thought it was a phone right. number. Yeah. My mother freaked out when she got that phone because I called it like 20 times. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah. She what got were like you trying a, to find? What like would you hear? I don't know. You just call it and they play messages. You think you're talking to the Fresh Prince. Oh. Yeah. I was 10. What did I know? Yeah. <laughs> she got like a $300 phone bill. <laughs> she was hot. <laughs> Conversations are important for kids. You, right? you yeah. want to talk to the French Prince I now. The French you Prince. Wanna, it was yeah. Will Smith. Yeah, I didn't care what DJ Jazzy Jeff had to say. <laughs> Nobody really did. The Fresh Prince was spitting wow. facts. That is awesome. All right, number one. This is just an old news story. Story from Detroit. Julie Bonovich joins us live, and Julie, what happened out there? Well, Dave and Glenda, they just finished boarding up the window pane and part of the wall here. This is a very busy Arby's. It sits right here in Woodward in Royal Oak near 13 Mile Road. So, as you can imagine, there are quite a few people inside at the time. A big window went pop, and there was this glass everywhere. That was the loudest bang I had ever heard. It sounded like an explosion. I thought perhaps the end of days was upon us, but it turned out it was just a disoriented old lady in a champagne-colored Toyota Avalon crashing into my world like DMB circa 1996. Who's got their claws in you, my friend? Into your heart, I'll beat again. 
Just before 2 p.m., an elderly woman what? drove into the side of the restaurant while trying to park her car. I turned around. Uh, a little old lady had uh, stepped on the gas instead of the brake and ran into the restaurant. She hit three people who were sitting down and eating inside. They were thrown eight to ten feet. I saw their bodies tossed skyward like <laughs> ragdolls thrown into the air by the late great Andre the Giant. I don't know. They appeared to be weightless, hitting zero G like the fearless crew of a forgotten Apollo mission, whose only objective was to obtain a beef and cheddar classic and return home to Kathleen Quinlan safe before sundown. I don't know. Part of me wishes I'd been hit by that car instead, so I could have gotten out of work early and gone far, far away from shift manager Masha's judging emerald eyes. No, I didn't wash my shirt in between shifts, Masha. So what if I smell like roast beef? This whole place smells like roast beef. The fire department transported what all three to the hospital and tell us that the man and two on. women were in their 30s and 40s. <laughs> Wait. Uh, so I guess, no, that guy wasn't real. He's uh, actor and comedian Andrew Bowser. He has a character called Onyx the Fortuitous, also known as Weird Satanist Guy. Oh. He's been making viral videos for a while, and he's now looking to raise money for a movie. <laughs> So look him up on Kickstarter. Wowie. Huh. Did they put him in that story thinking it was a real Arby's? No, I think he put himself yeah. in the story oh, I see. in a later time. After I, the fact. Uh, <laughs> gotcha. Well, there you that go. is a nine at nine. There we go. Nine at nine.